When we look around us, even at our own bodies, what we see is the tip of the iceberg. We could say the classical tip of an immense quantum mechanical iceberg. Everything in the universe is energy. Your body's energy. The room you're living in is energy. Everything you want is energy. And that's not a new idea. A fuzzy-haired guy in 1925 wrote on his chalkboard, E equals MC squared. And we couldn't grasp what that meant. What that says is on one side of the equation is mass and light and everything that we perceive, but it all equals energy. Everything is energy. And let me help you understand that just a little bit. There's the universe, of course, and our galaxy, and our planet, and then individuals, and then inside of this body are organ systems, and then there's cells, and then there's molecules, and then there's atoms, and then there is energy. So there are a lot of levels to talk about something on, but when you get down to it, Everything is energy. Think of this for a moment. Take your hand and look at it. Now your hand looks solid, but it's really not. If you put it under a proper microscope, you'd see a mass of energy vibrating. And so everything is made up of the exact same thing, whether it's your hand, whether it's the ocean, or whether it's a star. It's just energy. And so part of the illusion that we're living in is that you know, these things are solid. They're not solid. Neither is a piece of wood. Neither is a rock. Get the proper microscope and go and look at a wall. That wall is not solid. That wall is a mass of energy and a very high speed of vibration. It feels solid because of the vibration, the rate at which the molecules are vibrating. Everything in the universe vibrates. In other words, everything moves. We live in an ocean of motion. You are vibrational beings in a vibrational universe. Many people are not yet ready to acknowledge that they are vibrational. They prefer to see themselves as blood and bone specimens that they see in the mirror. And we want to remind you that everything that you observe with your physical senses is vibrational interpretation. In other words, you hear because your ears translate vibration. You see because your eyes translate vibration. smell because your nose translates vibration. Your fingertips are translating vibration. Your tongue is translating vibration. All of your senses are about the translation of vibration and that's why you are able to perceive your environment in the way that you do. So it's very difficult for us as scientists or engineers or medical doctors or anybody to come to terms with the fact that what our senses are telling us is really not the whole story. We've been so taught to live with our physical senses, hear, see, smell, taste, and touch. But our physical senses lie. Our physical senses don't tell us the truth. If you only judge by your sensory factors, you'd believe the sun took a bath in the ocean every night and burrowed through the earth and was reborn on the eastern shore the next morning. I mean, the ancients used to believe that, but now you know better than that. If you judged only by your sensory factors, you'd believe the train tracks met in the distance. But you know better than that, you turn away from your senses. If you lived only by your sensory factors, you'd believe that a dog whistle made no sound. But you know better than that, so you turn away from your sensory factors and you stand out in your yard and you blow away. And yet how many times, if we're not careful, do we find ourselves living at nothing more than the sensory level? If we take a look at everything in the universe we know from a scientific perspective is made up of something called energy. So what do we know about the properties of energy? Number one, all energy has a vibration. All energy has a vibration. It emits a frequency. As you have just seen, Modern quantum physics has shown us that everything is energy, and everything in our universe is based on the frequency and vibration of energy. But there is more. 
Scientific research and experiments over the last 15 years have demonstrated that there is an omnipotent energy field connecting man, matter and every component of the known universe. Acting as an intricate and cosmic communication network that many believe works faster than the speed of light. It sounds impossible, too good to be true, unreal. That is what ignorant people always say. I think there's a strong possibility that we're at a turning point in history, a complete revolution in human affairs with the discovery of totally new energy sources. Many people are skeptical of this, but I think we may be going through the four stages involved in any revolutionary development. One, it's nonsense, don't waste my time. Two, oh, it's interesting but not important. Three, I always said it was a good idea, and four, I thought of it first. Leading edge scientists and researchers around the world, from the USA, Russia, Europe, South America to Asia, are on the verge of totally changing our perception of reality and overthrowing the current laws of biology, chemistry and physics. Their research and experiments reveal a radical new biological and physical paradigm that will bring about the same type of revolution that occurred exactly a century ago when quantum theory changed the face of physics forever. It heralds a new era of enlightenment for the human race and broadens our understanding of the very nature of life force itself in every living thing. This scientific research and data not only offers an explanation of why homeopathy and spiritual healing works, but also adds up to a completely new science, a radically new view of the world. In her book The Field, printed by HarperCollins in 2001, investigative journalist Lynn McTaggart provides us with an insight and understanding of this energy field. The energy field she writes about is often referred to as the zero-point energy field and the name comes about from experiments carried out showing that even at absolute zero, the coldest temperature possible where even electrons stop moving, energy can still be measured. Papers published by scientists show that the solid stable stuff we call matter is an illusion. It's a collection of electrical charge vibrating at different frequencies and interacting with the zero-point field. This interaction is the key to many of life's processes, from how cells communicate to how organisms actually take shape. The field is responsible for our mind's highest functions, our memory, intuition, creativity and much more. The zero-point field appears to provide the explanation for countless known phenomena and processes that have stumped the scientific community for generations. Examples include gravity, electromagnetism, clairvoyance, telekinesis, acupuncture, chi energy and tribal methods for the spontaneous healing of wounds. Watch this short video segment where a man sets fire to paper with nothing more than his bare hands. No instrument can measure the chi energy he calls on, yet as you watch this fascinating clip, this man is doing something that no scientist could explain using the traditional science model. Fact, it seems, sometimes can be stranger than fiction. The origins of these diverse phenomena can all be tracked back to this quantum field according to modern scientific research. It is the force that finally determines whether we are healthy or ill, the force which must be tapped into in order to heal. Every living organism has an interface to the field in the form of an individual body field. This body field is often referred to as the aura and is visible with special cameras.
The proliferation of toxins, pollutants and electromagnetic frequency have led to the distortion of our body fields, resulting in the rise of many diseases known to man. Clearing and balancing the interface between the body field of humans and the zero-point field is leading to rapid advancements in technologies that are aiding people to heal themselves. The next segment of this video will clarify this in more detail.